<laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? Got a little bit of a disassembly video for you. This is the disassembly for the Acer. Um, it's the Aspire 1 D255E. Um, most of the newer Aspire ones are fairly similar to this disassembly, so you can use this as a guideline to take apart other Acer Aspire ones. But this is going to be specifically meant for um, the Aspire 1 D255E. Um, so I'm just going to disassemble this and I'm going to state what problems you can fix as we go along. For example, like, you know, replacing the keyboard is pretty much how you're going to start off the disassembly. Um, so this is how you would pretty much fix the keyboard problem. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver and there's going to be like braces on the back. There's one here, one in the middle, and there's like two more down here and you just pop those off and I already did this prior to make life a little bit easy and the keyboard just lifts up like this and slides out the back now taking the keyboard turn it over like this but don't let it fall down you'll see the pins right here and uh, I'll show you how to remove the keyboard real quick alright so here's the keyboard right here and uh, you got this little tab right here you want to push that forward nice and easy you don't want to snap it because it's very fragile so you can use your flathead to kind of pop it out nice and easy come on there it is slide that forward and you can just pretty much give a yank on the keyboard and the ribbon falls out now the ribbon should bend down about like this and there's a little blue tab on it for easy um, access to put it back on it so here's your keyboard get that out the way and that's pretty much if you have a new keyboard you just put the new one in like that and there you go that's how you do that alright next thing you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver this is what we're looking at now Phillips head there's gonna be screws uh, I already took out three but there's gonna be a screw here 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 and then there's uh, five more I believe yeah five more there's one here 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 and over here on the edge and I'm not even over there there it is. Alright, so the other five that I'm talking about, there's one here, there's one there, 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 and there. So you're going to want to remove those screws. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these out real quick. And uh, I'll be right back once I got those five out and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so once you got all those screws out, you can't really do much any anything else from this angle so what you're gonna do is just close this up and you're gonna flip it over and it's time to remove the screws on the bottom half now um, you don't need to take the battery out but I've just done that just to make life a little easy um, if you're worried about scratching the top just put something soft underneath it like a piece of bubble wrap or some kind of thing like that um, but this table is not harder than the laptop surface so I'm not really worried um, so what you're gonna do first things first always the little nubs you want to check them not on this model but on other models remove those nubs and there will be screws underneath there but there are no screws underneath these nubs on this particular model so you don't have to worry about that um, but there are screws here in the corner so there's one here in the corner here here and then there's two on this side in the back over there and then there's another two right over here so um, all together two four uh, five, six, seven. Wow, I really had to count. But you're going to remove seven screws. Again, they're Phillips, so just go ahead and take those out as well. Alright, so once you remove those seven screws that are Phillips, you're going to take the computer again and you're going to flip it back over like this and open it up. Now, what you're going to do is the paneling on the side, you're just pretty much going to stick your fingernail on in there and pull on it. And you should start hearing the clicks of it coming apart. Now this is just going to remove the top panel to um, showing you pretty much where everything else is. And uh, there's little tiny clips and stuff right here so just kind of push back on it when you're releasing this. Now before we get hasty with this, there's a few things you want to know. First off, this piece of tape, if you never opened it before, you're going to want to move that and you're going to uncover a little ribbon. Right, so here's the ribbon I'm talking about right here. Simply all you're going to do is you're going to take like your Phillips or something and there's a little tab right here. You're going to push forward on that tab. And just kind of wiggle it nice and easy and pull that tab out. 
once you pull that tab out, you'll be able to notice if you pull this up, it's a lot easier now and it comes right on off. Now, it's very important to remember this tab. Do not rip it because you are definitely going to need it because that's for your mouse pad, as you can see if I flip it over like that. Uh, power button, there's no cable there, it's just a simple little button right up top here. So once you got this panel off, uh, this is pretty much all gone. So this is, if you're replacing this panel because, say, your mouse pad doesn't work or whatever, and you're replacing the board down there, this is where you would go for this step. And just to simply replace the pad or the board, um, replacing the board is just take these two screws out, disconnect this ribbon, pull the ribbons back, and then put the new board in and connect it again. Or you can just go the easy way and order one of these full, and um, which is the mouse pad assembly, top panel, and you can take care of it that way. All right, well, last Aspire I did, didn't exactly do this, but there's a panel here that you kind of pop off the bottom. I didn't even notice that. It's fairly different. So, popping off the panel now, after you flip over your... Um, the uh, laptop itself. Wow, sorry, didn't get a lot of sleep. Hard drive replacement, simple, easy, easy to do, easy to take care of. Screw right here at the bottom of the hard drive. Phillips, go ahead and take that out. And all you do now is just pretty much slide the hard drive forward. Hard drive comes forward like that. Well, to the right or whatever. You just pop it on out, and there you go. Get a new hard drive. You unscrew, be bop, be ba da boo, ba ba da ba, and bam ba ba. The four screws on the side, two on each side. Take the hard drive out, put the new one in, call it a day, pop the new hard drive in. Next segment on the disassembly of this computer is the RAM or your memory. Simple, easy. You take the bottom panel off, like I showed you. Pop these two to the side, pull the RAM stick out, make sure you're grounded before you put the new one in and you just replace the RAM stick like so. And it's PC2 RAM, so uh, get a PC2 stick, I believe they go up to 2 gigabytes, and uh, you, like if you want to upgrade to 2, just pop it on in there and uh, call it a day. So there's your RAM. Alright, next step on the disassembly video. This is a nice and easy one, your wireless card. First things first, any masking tape that you see inside here is highly unnecessary, so I just kind of pretty much like get rid of it and never put it back in. But you'll see a little nipple here and a little screw here, and I'll just zoom in real quick for you. All right, like I said, little nipple and the screw. Again, it's Phillips, so I remove the Phillips head screw, like so. I can get it out. Come on. Thank you. All right, now remember, also keep your screws separate, like I said before. Now, once you've done that, here's the white. Make sure they're white and that they only connect to the other receptors the way they're supposed to. Disconnect those, pull it off. Here's your Wi-Fi card. And uh, if this ever goes, just order a new one, replace it. Nice and easy for you. All right, next stage on the disassembly. is the CPU fan and uh, apologies for that little jumble in the video there but um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove these two screws in here they're Phillips so I'm just gonna pop these on out like so it's okay to push down on a little bit so don't be too worried and now you want to flip it over and open it right on up now you want to remove the motherboard now the motherboard is fairly easy to get out uh, but you're gonna have to do some disconnecting so first things first let's look over here here's your fan right here right and here is your lovely lovely speaker wonderful so Basically what you want to do is you want to disconnect all this stuff. First things first, this board right here is the first thing that's going to go. It's your LED panel. So you're just going to simply whoosh, pop this on down like that. Wiggle it on out nice and easy. Remember, don't want to break nothing. 
take the ribbon and just give a nice little tug on it like so now there's a Phillips head screw right here remove that Phillips head screw pop it on out remember keep your screws separate and this board just comes off like that if this ever went bad like an LED or something go ahead and order one pop it on out the way I showed you and just follow the reassembly now what you want to do is we're going to move on to disconnecting the LCD monitor alright so looking at the cable for the LCD monitor here this is real nice and easy just grab a hold of it pull it on out to the left come on I know you want to disconnect you can use your handy dandy screwdriver here for some leverage pull it on out and it's got like a little bit of an adhesive on the bottom this masking tape which is highly unnecessary because the cable has adhesive on the bottom so what the fuck's the point of taping it down go ahead and bend that up towards the screen and I like to tuck it under the back there and make life a little easier now right here get this tape out of here there we are tapes on out alright so you got this connector right here you gonna want to move that out that's your AC that's basically what charges your laptop so come on there we go alright moving on to the next segment of the video you got two Phillips head screwdrivers right here and uh, I'm gonna remove these screws like, like so somebody's calling me on Skype one moment alright sorry for the interruption two screws you remove them and this kinda just pops on up as you can see it's a speaker Holla fucking you ya. Masking tape, like I said, remove the shit. I don't like it. Nobody does. Now follow this wire to its connector. Remove connector like so. So you just pretty much boop, give it a nice little tug. Comes right out. There's your connector for your speaker. If your speaker goes dead, that's how you replace the speaker. Alright. Moving on to the next part. Here's some masking tape. Remove said masking tape, because nobody cares about masking tape. Take this connector like this, which is for your USBs and your fucking yada yada. Pop that on out. There you go. Fold that on up. Fold it up under the screen like I always do if it fucking will go and fold under the screen there alright now we're moving the motherboard we're moving forward now there's going to be a screw here on the bottom and a screw here remove these screws now there's also two screws here and here but I already took them out so be sure you take those out and uh, it's labeled M2 times 3. So, whoosh. remember, keep the screws separate. Remove these two screws like so. And now your board should actually start to move kind of easy. Now, important, you're going to want to remove the board from the left side first, not the right side, because the right side's got too much stuff going on and it's just easier this way. So, I like grabbing the charge port here. And I'll show you. I like grabbing the charge port, using that as leverage, pulling the board on up. Now there's a little nipple down here on the left side that you're going to want to lift over. Why do you not want to come out? Ew. Okay, well that just made it easy. Flip it over and just push from the bottom and tilt it up and pull it out there you are now we're looking at the whole board and now let's look at the board so for the most stand most 
this is the final procedure pretty much um, screen replacement fairly fairly easy and I will go over that um, but first let's take care of the beef so the only thing left to do is remove the heat sink and the fan turn this over and here's the fan right here here's the also wonderful heat sink and all that fun jazz and simply all you're going to do this is going to be a screw here I've already taken it out and pretty much just pop this on off except for one tiny little factor the Phillips head screwdriver that once was is now a flathead and I'm using the wrong screwdriver no wonder it's a pain in the ass one screw remove that there and then go ahead and unplug the fan here which is a little bit of a pain in the ass because there's not a lot of space to work with but it comes out fairly easy and I like to just take a flathead real quick like this I like to just take a flathead and give it a nice little kind of loose and push on the edges here so I can pop that out nice and easy and then the heat sink just comes right off so if you need to replace your fan because it's shot which this one's actually fairly clean um, works alright but if you need to replace that that's how you replace that and there's your processor thermal compound replacement now the original compound on here isn't even really a compound at all it's more or less a tape kinda and pretty much if you just take a flathead screwdriver and kinda go ahead and fool around with a, a little bit here you notice that it's very flaky and very dry and there really isn't anything to it so um... I mean you know I've seen some weird thermal paste in my day but this stuff right here just simply does not do in my book so I would advise probably doing this when you first get the fucking computer alright so while we're looking at it real quick right here I'm not gonna pop the screen apart just cause I don't have to but um, this is a brand new screen I just put it in here and uh, simply it's really really easy there's two things that you can replace in here it's either the board for the webcam with the webcam itself or the screen there's two screws hidden underneath little circular panels and you can pretty much see them they're plain as day there's one here and one here in their Phillips head you take off these little pallets with a flathead screwdriver and then you take out the Phillips head screws and then from the bottom of the screen pull up on the frame and the frame clicks on out pull it up all the way around and then there's screws down here and screws up here there's four on the inside and you just whoosh, take those out the screen comes on forward disconnect the screen put your new screen in the board is held in by two screws as well also Phillips replace those take out the screws put the new board in put the screws back in pop it all back together and that's pretty much it so this is basically the dissection of the Acer 1 A D D E 2 or whatever the fuck I said in the beginning of this video so yeah and I will make the process steps for you in separate videos as well but this is a disassembly so I hope this helps you rate comment and subscribe check out my website software reborn guys and also enjoy the rest of your evening day or whatever time it is wherever you are so also stay tuned for more stuff coming from Ubuntu Windows Mac Linux all that fun jazz PSP PS3 videos will be coming next week so stay tuned for all that and take it easy guys